Now we're ready to simulate our pill dispenser. To recreate the pill's designed enclosure, I improvised materials including the pill itself. At this point, the cup is still not inserted into the system. The red LED turns off when the cup is inserted, and the LCD prints, dispensing. After the pill has been dispensed and the cup is removed, the LCD prints the last time the user took a pill, or the system distributed one. Keep in mind that this design is only good for one pill. To improve it, two servo motors should be utilized. You're ready to go. It's now up to you to create your own pill dispenser. To begin with, we shall be familiar with the electronic components that we will be using in the project. First, we need an Arduino Uno. Servo motor. I2 CLCD. Photoresistor. 20K and 5K ohm resistors. One LED. One RGB module. Jumper wires. Piezo or buzzer. And a breadboard. Now we already got those, we are now ready to interface the circuit based on the schematic diagram. This will be our basis when interfacing or building the circuit. We may now connect the circuit using the schematic diagram provided. Simply double check that everything is connected accordingly. It's vital to keep in mind that PVC card is only used to filter light in, at the very least, replicate the pattern once it's in the casing. Make sure the rear of the photoresistor is well occluded so that the LED is the only source of light. After all the components have been connected, it's time to program the Arduino using the code in IDE. Now it's time to type in the code. Libraries are defined first in this section since they are a collection of files, scripts, functions, and programs that can be referenced in the sketch. Also included is the declaration of global variables that we will need. As you can see, I arranged the notations line by line to make it easier to grasp. This part of the void setup is where we put the codes we wish to run only once. This includes initializing the LCD, pin mode, and serial monitor. The void loop is where we place the main code. I included a welcome message as well. The values read across photoresistor are digitalized so we can focus on whether or not to dispense a pill. The code enclosed in the if statement should be run if the cup is inserted. This is the part where the pill is dispensed. Other indicators, such as buzzer, LED, and LCD, are also executed. As soon as the cup is demounted from the system, this second if statement should be activated, which displays time the pill was last taken. The sketch is now ready to be compiled and uploaded. To do so, simply click the check icon, then wait a few moments before clicking the arrow icon to upload it to the board. Now we're ready to simulate our pill dispenser. To recreate the pill's designed enclosure, I improvised materials including the pill itself. At this point, the cup is still not inserted into the system. The red LED turns off when the cup is inserted, and the LCD prints, dispensing. After the pill has been dispensed and the cup is removed, the LCD prints the last time the user took a pill, or the system distributed one. Keep in mind that this design is only good for one pill, to improve it, two servo motors should be utilized. You're ready to go. It's now up to you to create your own pill dispenser and enclosure in Tinkercad, just like this. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time.